this is Roger Burley, the host of Community Kitchens. Hopefully you've seen many of our shows over the years. Um, they've been a lot of fun, but this is a different time. It is the time of the coronavirus, and so we are doing things from people's kitchens, but we're starting tonight with one of Portland Media Center's staff people, uh, Leslie McPain, and she'll just be the first of many people, hopefully will uh, be filmed on cell phones um, and so it'll be different but it'll be a, a fun it'll it'll show what people are doing in this time where we're restricted we don't go out and we have to make do in many cases with what is in our cupboards and fridges rather than organizing a feast so here we go hi i'm the development director at uh, portland media center leslie McVeigh. And Roger's on camera instead of uh, his usual um, in front of the camera. But we're in my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. And we've been um, uh, social distancing by remaining at home, seeing each other and going out as little as possible. So we're, we're using what we've got. Um, and this is something you can all do. You can use a variety of vegetables, but, but tonight we're going to do a little vegetable stir-fry and pasta. So we've got some yellow squash, some zucchini, a few tomatoes, a little onion, red onion, um, some um, red lentil pasta, and some uh, Turkish oregano, some basil, some turmeric, some celery salt, a little salt and pepper, and we're gonna see how good this uh, tastes. You, um, usually I'll have mushrooms, but we used those up last night with the chicken or something. I can't remember what we did, a little stir fry vegetable thing. And um, let's, let's see. Well, I've got a couple of zucchini here and a yellow squash and this onion, and let's, um, what I'm gonna do is just hey, the yellow squash it, and the daffodils. That's pretty cool. All yeah. right. And do the, these have been here for a few days, and I, I, I can't believe they look as beautiful as they do still. That's because I so, gave them to you. <laughs> so what I do is I just chop up whatever vegetables I've got, you know, um, into little pieces. Um, I know I'm probably not chopping like a chef would, but this is what I do. And I blame it all on um, being left-handed. <laughs> so, garlic. Garlic. <laughs> garlic is good. It's yeah. looking a bit like a Mediterranean meal, which is what we're supposed to be eating for our overall health. Yeah. And to bolster our strength in the face of the coronavirus. Yeah, which yeah. is really nothing to laugh about. No, not at all. Um, I'm going to take the garlic and the onion over and put in the in the pan. What you got in the pan already? Butter? I've got um, some oil, oh. olive oil. Um, I have a little bit of the bottle, uh, the, bot uh, the end of a LaRue garlic. Um, and, and I didn't want to open up another one because I had another uh, another Spanish one here that I wanted oh, to use. Oh, so it's mixed. It's so, mixed. Okay. It is a mixed, yeah, we don't usually do that, but we are. Oh, so you know, uh, if we're talking that. about, and I guess it's me talking about a Mediterranean diet, yeah. you know what they like to recommend to go with garlic? No. Red wine. Oh my goodness, what I would give. Oh, Oh, look, oh, hey. thank you. All right. What a great cameraman you make. All right, so go for it. Hey, you better uh, load Cheers. up. You, or cheer. as we like to say, schlanza. Schlanza. <laughs> oh, do I have to keep cooking or can I just sit here and drink the wine? Okay. You can do some of both. All right. Well, I'm going to work on this a little bit and then we're going to come back and put this in. Okay. Okay. It looks like we're getting right down to business now. Oh, this is going to be good. And the old cast iron, you really favor the cast iron pan. So what's the advantage of the cast iron to you? You get a little iron in your blood. <laughs> that's, okay. that's what I was, uh, you know, the, what, what we call them up here in Maine, they're called spiders. Spiders? Did you ever hear that? I never did. This is called a spider. Where'd that so, come from? Um, it looks like a spider. I don't know, but that's what the—that's sort of an old main term for this. 
And I have had this since I was 20 years old. And I, they don't wear out. They keep well. You keep them seasoned so that, you know, you don't let them rust. And, um, well, this is uh, probably a, a native Maine pan, and you, my friend, are a native Mainer. I am. I hope that's not such a rare dog or a cat oh, it's, or it's the lobster best. or moose. <laughs> it's the best. Okay, now I, I forgot to cut up the tomatoes. So, or some people might call them tomatoes. Well, tomatoes are more expensive than tomatoes. Yeah, well, we call them tomatoes here. All right. And I'm just going to cut them like this in the old way. I, you know, I'm sure I'll get a lot of feedback on my my chopping and cutting style and maybe my stir fry style as well, but it's my kitchen. Well, the good news is if there's anywhere. any blood, it'll fit right in with the, the but, tomatoes. But this is just to let you know that anything goes. If you don't have tomatoes, you might have mushrooms. If you don't have mushrooms, you might have a pepper. If you don't have a pepper, you know, you don't need anything. You could just do the zucchini. You could put potato, you could use potato. Uh, you could use sweet potato, uh, regular russet. Um, uh, what, Roger, what are some other vegetables that people could use um, in oh, place sh of this? Shallots, scallions, um, jeepers, yep. 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 about just about anything, broccoli. Anything. Uh, anything got, at all. Okay, well I gotta tell everybody, my favorite go-to all the time thing is lemon pepper. I think if I had lemon pepper, I'd be happy on, on a, everything. On a desert island. On a desert island. It's me and the lemon pepper, maybe a bottle of that wine, which <laughs> tastes pretty good too. But um, I'm running out, as you can see, and we're well, not Well, you've got to run out and get some more. But, well, but you can't. That's right. I'm not. Why can't you? Because of the coronavirus oh. and because I'm in that age group that oh. should be... You don't look it. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> And, um, and so we're being very careful about when we go to the store. So I throw a little bit of water in here. Why, why do you do that? It just helps a little bit. Um, that was a very little bit. So I put a little... Was um, it a dite or a dollop or oh, what was it? Oh, look This is ready. And what's going I'm in there? I'm going to put the pasta in. Okay. So I always put a little salt. Why do you do that? Um, because your grandmother because did it. My mother did it. And I think it keeps it from bubbling over. That's it. It's either that or oil. So I'm going to, this is red lentil. Um, it's uh, pasta, organic. Right? Pasta. And yeah, it is a pasta. It's gluten free for people who might um, have some issues issue. with that. Yeah. I never know how much to put in. Well, you know the answer to that problem? Just enough and not too much. I could put it all in yeah, and then have leftovers, guys. You, you got it. So remember that if you put too much in, um, you've got a leftover for another creative meal. And I suppose it's my job to time it. Yes, it is. Okay. It is your job to time it. And I'm going to put maybe a tiny bit of celery salt just because I found it in the cupboard. Didn't even know I had it. <laughs> Oregano, just, I don't measure for stuff like this. I mean, I tend to be someone that needs a recipe, but with this, you don't really need a recipe. And um, turmeric, um, which is good for your joints. I think with a few sprinkles, it's not going to make that big a deal, but I'm going to put a little, whoops, I put a little too much in there. But Every little bit We'll helps. see how that goes. Um, Herbs and seasonings are some of the most important keys to help. Yeah, I don't know if there's something else I need in here, but the key is not to stir fry till it gets super soft. You want it a little oh, crunchy. No. You don't want it too crunchy, but you gotta have it firm. You know, like, you don't... like I suggested, just enough and not too much. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, how about a little um, basil here? Sure. Basil, basil, you know, whatever. Yeah. That's what we're doing. And I might just sneak in a little of my lemon pepper. Thought you already did that. No, I just showed it to everybody. Oh, okay. I didn't really share it. But I'm gonna whoops, that didn't really do much, did it? 
Okay, there's lemon pepper. This is loaded with stuff. Okay, I'm going to actually turn it off. Well, this is what I signed on for. <laughs> well, you got the food there, but you know what you forgot? No, I don't. You know. forgot a little of that grated cheese that I ah. recommended. Okay. That's well, why I'll I did this that. whole meal was just so we could eat some grated cheese. Yeah, I, I understand <laughs> the concept. Yeah. Of course, um, you know something missing when I have to do it all by myself. But There's that's okay. no such thing as too much cheese. <laughs> okay, now right. I'm going to film you eating. Uh, eating. Which is. My I want to just see if. You really like it, I can tell. I'm watching you, your eyes. This is this is the, the top of my skill lie. set. This okay. is the top of my skill set. Eating. Okie dokie. Mmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's all here. Translation Viking man eats my stir fried pasta without any fish or meat in it. Oh. He loves it. I do. <laughs> I do, but. Fish tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you're a good sport. And yes. um, people at home, you can... Um, you can do this. You can do absolutely do this with whatever you have. Yep. With whatever you have yep. in your cabinet and in your pantry. Yep. And so join us again and send us your videos. Yeah, you do it. You do it. New ideas. No, no boundaries. Uh, go for it. Okay, I'm going to eat too. I'm getting hungry. All right, All right bye. Bye.